I'm sorry. <laughs> You know two things about me now. I, uh, this is my first time and I play Quidditch, so. <laughs> Hi, so as you can tell by the accent, I'm not from here. <laughs> I sound American, I am Canadian, and I will defend that to my dying day since Trump got elected. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm actually getting over a cold, so I apologize in advance. I came down with a cold uh, on the 18th of June. <laughs> and I'm still fighting that good fight. I live in close quarters with a lot of people. Um, some of them are here tonight. <laughs> and some of my co-workers are here tonight. And I want to thank them all because now I can't have my materials just gone. Because I'm not one of them while they're here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, six girls. Six girls uh, living in uh, three bedrooms. Uh, we live in the nice part of town, thankfully. We live in like Paddington, but like a shitty apartment in Paddington. <laughs> uh, three girls, uh, three, sorry, three bedrooms, six girls. My math is off. Uh, with one kitchen, no living room, and uh, questionable plumbing in one bathroom. <laughs> you can imagine the fun lines we have every morning. <laughs> and uh, we, we're, I, I'm actually really looking forward to our episode of uh, Council House Crackdown. Does anyone else see that? <laughs> you don't get cops here, so this is the closest I have to that. Uh, our, I'm pretty sure our downstairs neighbor has reported us to the council at this point. I can just imagine the phone call he's reporting, like six girls all speaking different languages. <laughs> coming in and out of the apartment and all hours of the day we bring male visitors home obviously <laughs> and i'm sure he's on the when he's talking to the council he's probably describing either just people living there illegally or a brothel <laughs> i think he's just hoping it's a brothel <laughs> but uh, yeah he's either describing six girls living there because it's, it's just it's just hair and just razors and tampons everywhere He's either describing six girls living together or like one Wookiee from Star Wars. <laughs> and that, I just imagine that fun thing sharing actually an apartment with a Wookiee at this point. Just like, trying to get into the bathroom with that. Chewy? Chewy, is that you in there? <laughs> Chewy, I have to go to work soon. Are you almost done? <laughs> <laughs> People weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Chewy, I'm sure you look nice, but I have to be at work in one hour. And I have to take the northern line, so please don't leave. <laughs> I am sure you look fine. You're going to do wonderful at that job interview, Chewy. That mercenary is going to love you. Yes, I know. We, we all miss Han. Spoiler alert. We all miss Han Solo as well, Chewie. Yes, I agree. Yes, he was taken far too soon. He was like 73 years old, so not really. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up in the United States, uh, but I grew up, and I grew up in the south, like really far south in Florida, so this weather's different. <laughs> I, I'm still obsessed with the florals, as you can see. It's officially the first day of winter as of the solstice. I almost left the house with flip-flops earlier. My roommates stopped me <laughs> and then asked me, why are you trying to do that? I own flip-flops now. <laughs> and I said, because in my, in my heart, I am an elderly, uh, middle-class white woman uh, who was a war bride, and I don't deal well with change. <laughs> But uh, yeah, growing up in Florida, like I was actually, I love living here because the culture is wonderful. We have nothing in my town whatsoever. We have like weird accents and gator tail and that's it. We eat the gator tail. That's what the gator tail sports. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty much we, uh, like the, the differences in the culture is that you don't have like 4th of July here. You don't have an Independence Day. It just came and went. <laughs> it was so sad. There was nothing to celebrate. And I was just like, what's that like not having an Independence Day? I mean, the rest of the world's like, fucking thank you. <laughs> Great Britain is like, oh, I guess you're welcome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Fourth of July is just a normal day here. I just imagine, I always imagine like two, because it's really hot that time of year, like just two really posh women going into Hyde Park and sitting down with a blanket of like, with Prosecco. They're like underpaid Taiwanese nannies or looking over their children and just like they're secretly hoping the children get attacked by a swan just so they can go home. and uh, i'm gonna name them susan and elizabeth because why not they're always named fucking susan elizabeth here and uh and just like and just discussing i don't know what like catherine ward wimbledon the month before like that's the extent of the conversation fourth of july in america meanwhile the exact same time this little thing is going on here 
It's two girls named Sue Bob. Sue Bob is hyphenated, by the way. You have to pronounce the full name. <laughs> Sue Bob and <laughs> Betty Louise. We call her Betty Louise. It's short for Elizabeth, but we don't use that word there. We call her Betty Louise because she is one of like 20 cousins in my town, and they are all fucking named Betty. <laughs> so it's like Betty Louise, Betty Marie, Betty Marie Celeste. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> and they are doing something different in my town. They are doing, uh, they are helping their baby daddies uh, pretty much just get illegal fireworks and moonshine from Georgia. And we're all just taking bets on who is going to go into July 5th with one less finger. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so ready for 2016 to be over. It's been, I've, I've, I fucking hated it, I'm sorry. <laughs> no one liked it. The celebrity deaths were kind of the worst. I'm just really glad that we did uh, not lose Betty White, of all people. I actually, like, my friend actually literally yesterday compared me to Betty White. And I thought, like, oh my god, is it because I'm so cute and bubbly and funny? She was like, no. It's because we just think you of all the groups of our friends, you're gonna be around forever. Which I took to mean, yay, I'm gonna watch all of you die. <laughs> it's just gonna be me in my little shitty council flat all by myself and Chewie's still in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for my first grade audience. Thank you.